Hello everyone, welcome to X Libraries. Today we will learn about Unity UI system and as you can see like in our previous game or in our previous tutorial, we generated few points in our ground and we collected them. We are able to collect them basically. But we are not able to see how much coin we have collected. So that we, we are going to see today. Uh, so go on unity UI, uh, this UI element and select text mesh pro import EMPs sorry TMPs we don't need examples but if you want you can import Basically, importing examples are a good way to look how particular thing works. You can always roam around and see what's going on. Cool. Uh, now go on to get setting. Yeah. You can see, like, Everything is imported successfully. Click on here 2D so we can clearly see our text. And you can see, uh, as you can see, that new text has appeared here. I'll just drag and drop, or I just align it. This seems a good position. Basically, anchor will set our text on the position we like, like I want on top center. You can uh, you have to just click uh, Alt plus Shift key and click on the position. Like if I this will be this. Here is the middle and center, top, middle, bottom, left, center, right. You can choose anything. You can choose this stretched also. It will show on whole canvas or your whole screen. Now let's change the text. Scroll. Here are some basic editings I will do. Like you can just check what you like and what you don't like. You can choose the font style you want or color, size, everything is self explanatory here. I'll change the name of this game object. Now let's jump into our player moment script. Our default voice code is zero. I'll call text mesh pro here using tm and since we are using unity engine's UI system so I'll call that also Let's create some public variables.
basically what we are doing in this function is we are setting the structure. So, this is the this is the score name string, and after that is called out to in is called out to string. Whatever the score will be there, like if one uh, one file selected, then plus one. So score colon and one will be visible. This will be visible like this. Something like this. It will be visible. In our void on trigger and the method, we can just simply add our score here only. I increase it by 10 of the fifteen. You can increase by anything, I'll just like some different words to be there. Then I collect some powerful geometrics for the cups. And I call this method which I created. So it's four text. Let's check. If this works, perfect. It's working perfectly. And you can see the field like whenever we are collecting coin, we are collecting. If we say we collected this machine. Now since we are able to collect the coins, display our score, there is one thing lagging in our game. That's challenge. Like we don't have anything challenging now. It can be created if we are having some time limits or any negative score points. So what we will do for this tutorial is we will create the time limit. I will create a similar team of it. F2, name it is time. Now, what we have to do is set a time limit for our player to complete the game in particular time, and that will do in our game analysis. We will call UI systems Okay, that's all. This one we will call to get some variable. It's always good practice to use public and private, like define what are public and private variables. Even if you don't write private in front of any variable, uh, you will consider it as a private variable, but you should define it. Now we are going to create a serialized field. What are serialized fields? Basically, the way and the game object 
present inside serialized field will be visible under Unity editor, but we won't be able to edit it from there. So you can tell it as it is a public variable, but we are not able to edit it or access it from the editor. Initially, our current time will be equal to starting time. <coughs> now we make an update method here. current time minus equals to 1 into time to delta time. Basically, we are reducing uh, 1 second for every time, like for completion of every second. What we are doing here is like here our time will be constantly decreasing. Like even if our current time will be equal to zero, then it will go to minus one, minus two. So what we are doing here is like if current time is less than equal to zero. So when current time will be equal to zero, we will set again current time to zero and time dot time scale. Basically, this will create a pause effect. Like it will freeze our game. So what it will be doing is like it will freeze our game infinitely until and unless we restart the game. Now let's check how this works. Wait for the compilation. Oops, I forgot to set in game manager countdown text is our time. You see, I have exactly 22 seconds left now, and I guess I am not able. I will not able to collect all the points. Oh, I won! This was all about our time. I won the game, but I didn't feel like I won it. So let's create some canvas for. Or what we'll do is like we'll create new scenes so that it will feel like we will able to switch the scenes if we won the game or lose the game. What to do is like go create scene. <coughs> Control U, F2. Save every changes.
and let's go to our main cell now. I'll rename this also. Or I'll name it. Yeah, just reload. <coughs> now what we have to do is go to build setting and add all the scenes we have just created. You can also see these some numbers coming. This is the index of array. Basically what we are doing here is putting the scenes into the array of our build setting. 0, 1 and 2. These are the indexes. Now what we'll do we'll go to now yeah. now what I have to do is I will call these scenes which we have created the game loss and game loss for this I need to call the scene management library And I will call it here. Scene manager. Go. Go I'll just name the value of my array index. We'll be not needing this. What we have to do is here. Score is greater than. So 20 into 15 is 300. Let's make it 250. So if we pass a certain threshold, we will we won the game this way. Again, we we'll call the C management script. Let's check. Let's check now. I need to. One more. I lose. Next challenge. Yeah. I think this is up. We should sum up this tutorial here. If you have any questions, doubts or any suggestions, feel free to comment below and keep developing.